two methods of integration were studied discussed yesterday in our previous class. We know how to get a simple, very simple function integrated with the help of a standard result. Some slightly more involved functions can be integrated by the method of decomposition. Enough examples we have tried. Next method we have to learn will be the method of substitution. Now the function to be integrated will not be too simple, will not be integrable by using a standard result alone, will not also be decomposable. Some more special technique is needed to integrate that. Suppose you find your function to be, it is enough complicated, but you find it to be reducible to a simpler form through a substitution. Suppose you have something like as it is looked like looks like a very complicated function. But suppose I replace this by some new symbol, say t or y, the function takes a very simple form. Suppose your integrand has one component in this form. You find that through a substitution you can reduce the form of the integrand, you can bring it to a sufficiently simpler form. Then you can think of applying the method of substitution. Just having the integrand in this form will not be enough to apply the method of substitution. When you apply substitution, suppose your function to be, uh, suppose your integral is the integration that you are required to perform is this, where f of x is some arbitrary function. This is enough complicated we are finding and we find it can be reduced to a simpler form through substitution, but that is not enough. When you bring this to a different form with the help of a substitution, you will have to carry out a replacement for this differential also. You cannot change the variable in one part, leave the differential unchanged. The integration will not be applicable in that case. This also will have to be changed properly. For that, enough matter must be present with this as a part of the integrand. Then you can think of the substitution method. The theorem that will be, main result that will be applying while applying the method of substitution is the following. I am sorry, some correction is needed. You know that for this function, this is an antiderivative. For this function, this is the integral. I claim for any function of this form, f of g of x with one more component present that g prime x derivative of g of x, the integral will be capital F of g of x plus an arbitrary constant. Method is applicable if your integrand is composed of two parts. One part is a composite function of this. f of, instead of f of x, you are having f of g of x. Simultaneously, in order to apply substitution, this dx should be accompanied by the derivative of this function. Then only you can think of applying the substitution, you will get the integral as f of g of x plus c prime. This is the main result. Verification, very simple. You need differentiate this. See that you get the derivative like this. 
can be easily done. More generally, <coughs> For any integral of the form, I can have a replacement as in any integral, the independent variable can be changed to any other independent variable. Only thing is, you need introduce a new factor dx by dt. That's all. But as it is, you will not be able to perform integration. New symbols will have to be brought in. This you cannot retain as f of x. In this factor also you have to bring in t. Then only you will see the integrand as a function of t and differential as d of dt. Integration will be, will be able to perform. Okay. These are the results. How do we apply these results in our practical problems, actual problems? <coughs> we find that the integrand has two parts one part a composite function, another part derivative of the function involved in this. I will apply the substitution for this part. I will call this with by some new name, say t or y, some, some convenient symbol. When you use that symbol to bring this form, function to a simpler form, you will find a suitable replacement for this also. Suppose the relation between x and y is something like g of x is equal to say some h of t, new variable is t. <coughs> then relation connecting the differentials will be simply differentiate this with respect to x, get it multiplied by differential dx, do the same thing on the other side. This equation will be used in order to get a suitable replacement for dx. Using this dx will get replaced by dt a new integrand will be obtained. We hope to have it that in a simpler form we will be uh, so that integration will be more easier to apply, more simple, simpler to apply in that new form. Well, let us try some exa illustrations, some examples. Huh? Suppose this is the function you need to integrate. <coughs> I find the function composed of two parts. One part is this, a composite function, a function of this g of x. I notice that the second part, the second part of the integrand is exactly the differential of this part. So I find the method of substitution is most convenient to apply. <coughs> what I do is, when you are thinking of applying a substitution, you will have to obtain a suitable replacement for differential also and that expression to be used in obtaining a replacement for differential derivative times dx. Now the integral takes the form this I am calling t my first part of the integrand becomes t to the power 12. As it is, the second part I find is simply dt. And what is the integral? t to the power 13 by 13 plus a constant of integration in terms of my original variable x. It is 2x to the power 4 minus 3x cubed plus 6x squared plus 9x minus 1 to the power 13 divided by 13 plus 6. 
Okay. It's a simple application. I said most convenient uh, uh, situations where we can think of applying substitution is when the integrand is composed of two parts. One part is a composite function, a function of g of x, and second part is either derivative of g of x or some constant numerical multiple of g of x. But that need not be the situation always. Even in some other cases where you may not find the second part at all, it may be possible to use a substitution and get the integrand simplified, get the integration performed more easily. Possible. Such situations also are there. We will get uh, all types of possibilities, all different kinds of problems where substitution works in the uh, following, uh, in the remaining time. Okay. <coughs> Editing it about your to. So, my lachi chagate. Unta, unta. I am not choosing the functions randomly, I am choosing or forming the integrand very carefully. Notice that when I include a x here, I am thinking of making use of the substitution x square equal to t. So, I am writing a function of x square alone. There is no odd power here, no odd power. If there is a odd power, my method will not be workable. Consider next the problem x into root of 2x to the power 4 minus 3x square plus 1 dx. Again, I find the integrand composed of two parts. One part x, simpler part. The other part, more complicated part, root of x power 2x power 4 minus 3x square plus 1. This is a composite function. This is a function of 2x to the power 4 minus 3x square plus 1. But I cannot think of applying a substitution for this whole thing because derivative of this will be 8x cube minus 6x. It is not appearing in the integrand as another part. So, question of applying a substitution for this whole thing is rejected, is not possible. We, we, cannot, we cannot have that. Next, consider this. Consider the possibility of simplifying this through some other substitution. I notice that only even powers are appearing, so I can think of x square equal to a new variable. Can I apply that substitution? What is the derivative of x square? 2x. Do you find it here? There is no 2x, but there is x, and it can be easily made 2x, multiplying by, multiplying and dividing by 2. So, this substitution is workable. Even though the whole thing equal to t is not workable, x square equal to t, we can definitely try. Let us try that. The integrand will substantially get simplified. Relation that will be used to re find a replacement for differential will be this. Derivative times dx equal to derivative of t times dt. x dx. Agreed? Okay. Is this now a function which is easily integrable? Yes. It is simply root of a quadratic. Root of a quadratic we know how to handle. The method is the method of completing squares. Completing squares. If you want, you can first make the t square coefficient 1, then proceed to apply that method. Uh, 
after getting the t square coefficient as 1. Let me proceed with applying the method of completing squares t minus half of the coefficient of t here 3 by 4 whole square. Expansion gives me t square as z gives me minus 3t by 2 as z also gives me 9 by 16 as constant term. But actually my requirement is just 8 by 16. 9 by 16 means 1 by 16 is extra. Remove it. Agreed. We find the integrand function to be integrated in the form y square minus a square. You have a formula for that. You have a formula for obtaining the integral of this. Applying. Yes. What is the formula for integral of root y square minus a square? Yes. In place of x, I am finding t minus 3 by 4 divided by 2 into root of t minus 3 by 4 whole square minus 1 by 16 then minus or plus minus a square by 2 according to formula a square by 2. What is a square? This is a square by 2 into sin inverse hyperbolic some hyperbolic function inverse which hyperbolic function cos, cos hyperbolic function inverse in place of x i am having t minus 3 by 4 divided by a a is 1 by 4 getting back to x What is t in terms of x? x square. Let me try as far as possible. To simplify this expression, is this x square minus 3 by 4 whole square? Correct, no? Yes. x to the power 4 minus <coughs> plus 9 by 16 minus 1 by 16 minus 1 by 32 cos hyperbolic inverse 4x square minus 3 plus or further simplification apply common denominator write that denominator of the number inside the radical sign bring it outside uh, root 2 is brought outside so let me remove the square brackets 4x square minus 3 by 16 this root 2 and this root 2 together into root of 2x to the power 4 minus 3x square plus 1 minus ok I think 1 by 32 root 2 cos hyperbolic inverse 4x square minus 3 plus a constant of integration. <coughs> As next illustration we have we can see now also the integrand as a product of two parts. Part 1, 1 by x to the power 2 by 3, 
another part 1 by x plus 1 by 1 plus x to the power 2 by 3. More complicated part, the part deserving sub simplification through substitution is this one. Can I apply substitution for this whole thing? What is derivative of 1 plus x to the power 2 by 3? It is 2 by 3 into x to the power minus 1 by 3. Do you find it as the second part? No. The second part I am finding is 1 by x to the power 2 by 3. It is not x to the power 1 by 3. In order to apply a substitution for this whole thing, I need the second part as 1 by x to the power 1 by 3. I am having some extra x here. So, that, that question is rejected. Consider only this portion. Can you apply substitution for this portion? Again, same difficulty. Derivative of x to the power 2 by 3 will have just x to the power 1 by 3 in the denominator. Okay, a part of this, x to the power 1 by 3. What about substituting for x to the power 1 by 3? What is derivative of x to the power 1 by 3? Does it involve this? Yes. integral becomes dx is sorry dx by ah, yes yes a correction is needed this is this is not x to the power minus 1 by 3 it should be x to the power minus 2 by 3 ok so the portion dx by x to the power 2 by 3 this whole thing according to this equation is 3 times dt and the denominator expression, remaining expression in the denominator, 1 plus x to the power 2 by 3 through this substitution is 1 plus t square. According to a formula, simply 3 tan inverse t plus c. Or in terms of x, 3 tan inverse x to the power 1 by 3 plus c. Next. Integration of sin x divided by 9 sin square x plus 3 cos x plus 1. Now also we can think of the integrand to be a product of two parts. Part 1 sin x in numerator. Part 2 9 sin square x plus 3 cos x plus 1 in denominator. The part deserving simplification is the part in denominator. But for this whole thing in denominator, I can th I cannot think of a finding finding a replacement because derivative of this is not there with the dx in numerator. Okay. Any portion of this? Which portion? But just for this portion you apply substitution, how to handle this portion? Okay, we will have the entire denominator expressed in terms of cos x. The function for which this will be a part of the derivative. Then try the substitution cos x equal to t. Fine. nine into one minus cos square x plus three cos x plus one in denominator numerator no change sin uh, sin x dx now we are in a position to apply the substitution cos x equal to t then expression for dx dt will be minus sin x dx and our integral becomes minus dt by 9 plus 1, 10, plus 3 cos x is 3t, minus 9 cos square x is 9t square. Is this again a standard integral? Yes. It is a integral, it is a integral having a constant in numerator and a quadratic in denominator. It is nothing but dt by 9t square minus 3t minus 10. How to get the function integrated? 
we have two options. If this expression is factorizable, we will get it factorized, decompose the integrand into a sum of two partial fractions, carry out integration of the two partial fractions separately. If that is not possible, then also we have an option. We will make apply the method of completing squares. Before that, you can make the t square coefficient 1. Apply the method of completing squares. See the integrand as a standard function. Apply a relevant formula. Write down the integral. Is the expression factorizable? What is b square minus 4ac? 9 minus of 4 into 9 into minus 10. 360. 360 plus 9. 369. Is it a perfect square? No. 369 is not a perfect square. Okay. Let us depend on the method of completing squares. First, making t square coefficient 1. Then applying the method of completing squares. t minus half of the coefficient 1 by 6 square as a result of inclusion of this constant term I get 1 by 36 remove that constant then write this required constant term 10 by 9 or simplified 1 ninth of integral dt by t minus 1 by 6 whole square minus common denominator 36 1 minus 40 sorry 1 plus 40 41 integrand is in the form 1 by x square minus a square integral of which is 1 by 2a into log of x minus a by x plus a applying the formula 1 by 9 into 1 by 2a a is root 41 by 6 into log of mod of x minus a x is t minus 1 by 6 minus a is root 41 by 6 by x plus a x is t minus 1 by 6 plus a is root 41 by 6 plus a constant of integration c getting back to our original variable x, we will be getting 1 by 3 root 41 log of what is t cos x. 6 cos x minus 1 minus root 41 by 6 cos x minus 1 plus root 41 plus a co arbitrary constant is the required integral. Agreed. Next illustration, integration of 1 by an expression of the form a cos square x plus b sin square x. Numerator is a constant. Denominator is a sin square x plus b cos square x. We do not find the integrand as a product of two functions. Still, method of integration by substitution is workable. You have to provide that second factor from your pocket. How, how do you get it done? Simply divide numerator and denominator by either cos square or sin square, any one of the two. No choice is yours. If you divide numerator denominator by cos square x, immediately you will see the integrand as a function composed of two parts. Part 1 secant square x, part 2 1 by 3 times square x plus 4. The part deserving simplification, denominator, 3 times square x plus 4. Can it be uh, simplified through the substitution, whole thing equal to t? No, because derivative of whole 3 times square x plus 4 is not found as the second part. 
but a portion of 3 tan square x plus 4 tan x is usable. Derivative of tan x is found in numerator with dx. We will apply substitution t equal to tan x. What we are required to find is integral d by dt by t square plus 4 by 3, one third of that. Integrand is in the form 1 by t square plus a square, 1 by x square plus a square, integral of which is 1 by a tan inverse x by a and integral becomes one third of 1 by a is 2 by root 3 tan inverse t by what is our t tan x divided by a 2 by root 3 plus a constant of integration. In the next situation also, I am having denominator a sin square x plus b cos square x, but numerator is different from, uh, different now. Numerator is not a constant. There is a x in numerator also. Numerator is sin 2x. The presence of sin 2x has made the problem simpler because it is exactly the derivative of or a integr or some numerical multiple of the derivative of 2 sin square x plus 5 cos square x. Now, you can apply a substitution for the whole thing in denominator. Agree? What is derivative of 2 sin square x? 4 sin x cos x. 2 sin 2 x. What is derivative of 5 cos square x? Minus 10 cos x sin x. That is minus 5 sin 2 x. Everything or even when the two derivatives are clubbed, it comes out as a, in, a numerical multiple of sin 2x. So, convenient substitution is denominator equal to t. Integrand will take the form or integral will take the form dt by t, integral of which is log t. Very simple situation provided you notice that the denominator 1 plus sin 2x is expressible as sin square x plus cos square x plus 2 sin x cos x which is the square of sin x plus cos x. What is the advantage of writing this as a power of sin x plus cos x? Derivative of sin x plus cos x is there in numerator. Is derivative of sin x plus cos x exactly equal to sin x minus cos x or negative of? Therefore, on applying the substitution, my integral becomes minus dy by y to the power 6, where y is equal to sin x plus cos x. And this is a very simple function y to the power minus 6 integral is y to the power minus 5 by minus 5.
ओके नेक्स्ट dx by x into 4x to the power 5 plus 1. We may be able to find the integrand composed of two parts. One is 1 by x, another is 1 by 4x to the power 5 plus 1. And we find that the expression desiring, deserving simplification is this one. But to apply a substitution for this whole thing, I need x to the power 4 with dx in numerator. That is not there. I will bring it from outside. Multiply numerator and denominator by x to the power 4. Now you are in a position to apply a substitution for this whole thing. But there is no point in applying a substitution for this whole thing because simultaneously you will have to find a replacement for this also. Even if, when you make this too simple, why? This takes a slightly more involved form, something like y minus 1 divided by 4. There is no point in getting this simplified and getting this or bringing this to the form of that factor. We will simply apply, substi apply a substitution for only this part. This only the part x to the power 5. T is x to the power 5. So, x to the power 4 dx will be dt divided by 5. And denominator t into 4t plus 1. Integral, integrand has got sufficiently simplified. It has attained the form a constant divided by a quadratic. And more than that, we find the denominator in a factorized form. We want to take the advantage of that. There is no need to remove brackets and then go for method of completing squares. We retain the original form and break it into partial fractions. Okay. Afterwards, integration will be more direct for us. When you break the function into partial fractions, you are going to get two partial fractions, one with denominator t, another with denominator 4t plus 1. For the first numerator obtained by applying t equal to 0 everywhere except in this factor is 1. For the second numerator will be integration is yes. integral 1 by t log t minus 4 by 5 into integral 1 by 4t plus 1 log of 4t plus 1 divided by 4. Our next function is of slightly different type. It's integration of a fraction having a linear expression in numerator and square root of a quadratic in denominator. The procedure to be adopted when the situation is like this is write the numerator as some multiple of 
the quadratic under the radical sign in the denominator as it is a numerical multiple of the derivative of this may not be equal to this if it is if the derivative of this expression is directly equal to this it is fine if it is not you obtain the numerator as some multiple of the derivative of this plus or minus another constant then with the help of that form of the numerator we will be able to decompose the integrand bring the integral into or obtain the integral as a sum or difference of two simpler integrals each of which is easily obtainable. What is the derivative of the quadratic under the radical sign in denominator 6x plus 1? My expression in numerator is 2x plus 3 has x coefficient 2. To get that adjustment done over the x coefficient, get this multiplied by 1 by 3. As a result, constant term becomes 1 by 3. My requirement is 3. Little more is to be added to this. The quantity to be added is 8 by 3. Noting that numerator is sum of two different quantities, I break the integrand into two parts. First part will be integral one third of 6x plus 1 divided by 3, root of 3x square plus x minus 1. And second part will be 8 by 3 of integral dx by root of 3x square plus x minus 1. Each of the two integrals requires a uh, in individual method. In this case, you will require a substitution method. In this case, you will apply the method of completing squares. What substitution helps you in bringing this to a simpler form? Sim ah, yes. Whole thing in the denominator. You apply a substitution for that. Okay, fine. What is the derivative of this whole thing in the denominator? It will be half into the quadratic to the power minus half into derivative of the quadratic all the elements involved in that derivative are seen in this expression the integrand can be reduced to a simpler form using that okay that's a fine uh, substitution that can be used in getting this simplified here different approach completing squares What is dt? Am I right? Using this, I am getting the integrand as 2dt. Now the method, I need apply is the method of completing squares. Before that, let me make the x square coefficient 1. Now the expression under the radical sign becomes x square plus x by 3 minus 1 by 3. When you apply your procedure, it becomes x plus half of the coefficient of x, 1 by 6 whole square. Inclusion of this 1 by 6 gives you the constant term 1 by 36. Your requirement is minus 1. You have to remove 1 by 36 and then add minus 1. It is as good as writing minus 37 by 36. Okay. You have got this also divided by 3. So, this does not remain as minus 1. It is. It has become minus 1 by 3. So, quantity to be removed 1 by 6. Quantity to be added minus 1 by 3. Together, minus 1 by 6 minus 1 by 3 is. Sorry, 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 sorry. 1 by minus 1 by 36 minus 1 by 3. Okay. Minus 13 by 36. Integral is 2 third of t 
t is root of 3x square plus x minus 1 plus 8 by 3 root 3 integral of 1 by root t square minus a square integral of 1 by root t square minus a square must be some hyperbolic inverse function cos hyperbolic inverse our t is x plus 1 by 6 divided by a is root of 13 by 36 is the answer. Again, one more similar situation. Now, the difference is root of the quadratic is not in denominator. It is appearing together with this linear expression in the numerator. The procedure we apply will be the same. <coughs> what is derivative of the quadratic under the radical sign 2x minus 2? What multiple of this gives me this 3x? 3 by 2. As a result, constant term becomes minus 3. But our requirement is minus 1. What should we do? Add 2. Agreeable? Agreed? In the first part, we will go for substitution. What substitution we apply now? Now, because root of this quadratic is in numerator, we can't think of applying the substitution for this whole thing. But we can definitely think of applying a substitution for the quadratic inside. Only, only x square minus 2x plus 3 will be replaced by a new variable. This as before method of completing squares. The first part 3 by 2 into integral of t to the power half t to the power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2. The second part integration of root of x square plus or t square plus a square a function of the form root t square plus a square it is t by 2 t is x minus 1 by 2 into root of t square plus a square t square plus a square is x minus 1 whole square plus 2 then minus r plus plus a square by 2 a square is 2 2 divided by 2 1 into some hyperbolic inverse sin hyperbolic inverse of t by a 
t is x minus 1, a is root 2. Or our function is integral is Next also is again integral of the same type but with a slight extension. Our numerator, denominator is root of a quadratic as before but numerator is not linear now. Instead it is a quadratic. A slight extension we are having. Even this we can handle easily, no difficulty. You know how to handle an integral if denominator is root of a quadratic and numerator is linear. But at present our numerator is not linear, there is a quadratic term, there is a x square term. First think of getting rid of that quadratic term. How to get rid of that x square term? I will write the numerator as. plus some adjustments. 2x square is a required term. Minus 2x can be made 3x adding a 5x. Then minus 2 can be made plus 1 adding a 3. Now this part will have a simple linear in numerator, root of a quadratic in denominator we know how to handle it. We have already handled the situation of that form. In this case, you can have a partial sort of cancellation. Root of x square minus x minus 1 will be removed and the integrand, this portion of the integrand will be brought to the form some constant into root of t square minus a square. this on applying the method of completing squares. And this, the method to be adopted, you know, obtain the numerator as some multiple of the derivative of the quadratic in denominator under radical sign. What multiple gives you 5x, 5 by 2 the constant has become minus 5 by 2 to make it 3 way add 5 by 2 and 3 total 11 by 2. For this there is a formula x by 2 x is x minus half into root of whatever you have here This is same as this, minus a square by 2, a square is 5 by 4, cos, cos hyperbolic inverse, cos hyperbolic inverse, x is x minus half divided by a is root 5 by 2, finished, is integral of this expression, plus 5 by 2 constant, integral of 2x minus 1 divided by root of x square minus x minus 1 into dx. 
simply yes root of x square minus x minus 1 don't you get some numerical coefficient with it i think i think you get some 2 whether you get it in numerator or denominator see what you do is you either apply a substitution for this whole thing in denominator or you apply a substitution for this portion under the radical side suppose you think of applying a substitution for this much then this becomes dt and this becomes root t integrand becomes dt by root t t to the power minus half dt integral is t to the power half by half or in other words it is 2 into root of t agreed last portion remaining is 11 by 2 into integral of dx by root of x square minus x minus 1. This will have to be obtained by the method of completing squares. Shall I leave this at this stage? No problem, I think. Okay. Our integrand is a function of exponential functions. As far as differentiation is concerned, you must have noticed e to the power x is one of the simplest of all the functions that we have listed as standard functions. It is the only function which gets itself as the derivative. Whenever your integrand is composed of only exponential, exponential integration also will be too simple. Just apply substitution for the expression under the radical sign. No need to worry that there is no separate e to the power x is there with the dx in numerator. You can bring it from outside to balance you can get it divided by e to the power x. Replacing that e to the power x, not at all difficult. Our substitution is that simple. This is root of e power x minus 2. To get a replacement for dx, I need a e power x with it in numerator. When you supply that from outside, you will be getting e power dx, x dx, replaceable by dt. But to balance that e power x brought from outside, you have to now divide the whole thing by e power x. What is that e power x in terms of t? It is t plus 2. 
we are getting the integrand multiplied and divided by e power x. The numerator e power x is taken with dx. Denominator e power x is expressed in terms of t. How to get this integrated? Any idea? Your integrand is having an irrational factor. Only one irrational factor. And that irrational factor is root of a linear. Your aim should be to simplify, get the numerator simplified, to change the form of the numerator from irrational to rational. As long as it remains irrational, you find some complicatedness in the integrand. Suppose you convert this into a rational function, immediately everything else becomes simple. How to make this rational? Y square. Integrand has become twice y square by y square plus 2. A quadratic by quadratic. A rational function which is not proper. Method is bring it to proper form then continue. On writing the numerator y square as y square plus 2 minus 2. Dividing y square plus 2 by y square plus 2 is 1 minus 2 by y square plus 2 as it is. Integration is finished, almost finished. Agree? At the beginning itself, we could have applied substitution for this whole thing, root e power x minus 2. Did you foresee it at the beginning itself? I think now you are realizing that. No problem in breaking the steps into more steps. No problem. We are subdividing the process of uh, substitution. There is no rule that you should get the integral with a single substitution. You can use any number of substitutions you like that makes the process simpler, simpler to understand. A root t, a root of e power x minus 2. I don't think now there is any need of me trying this. Substitution needed is e power x equal to y. You may not find a e power x with dx in numerator. You can provide it from outside. To balance, you will divide by e power x. Everything takes a very simple, neat, simple form. The situation is, you are asked to obtain integral of a product of cos and sin. Each is having an index. Not both the indices are even numbers. One of the indices is odd, only the other one is even. If both are even, then it becomes a slightly more involved process. No substitution is usable. You will have to go on simplifying the expression by using the available trigonometric identities. If the powers are too high, then you must think of applying, deriving a reduction formula and making use of that reduction formula. Process is slightly different. We will handle that case later. 
when we take up reduction formula. Now, the one of the indices is odd. When one of the indices is odd, or both the indices are odd, you are not having the case both indices even, at least one of them odd. You may have, you may even have both, both odd. Method will be much simpler method. You identify the one with the index not odd, this one. Apply a substitution for the basic function here, cos x. But to apply the substitution t equal to cos x, you need derivative of cos x, that is minus sin x with dx. There is a sin x, but you have extra sin x with dx here. How many extra sin x are there? Only two, sin square and e1 power. Can it be easily converted into a cos function? You can. This is possible when the index is odd. The extra unwanted, extra unwanted sin square x has been converted, has been expressed in terms of cos x. Now, we will go for substitution cos x equal to t. Agreeable. Carry, removing brackets and carrying out term by term integration. Minus t to the power 4 is the first term. Integral is minus t power 5 by 5. Second term is minus of minus plus t power 6. Integral is 1 by 7. t power 7 plus a constant of integration is the required integral. Agreed? Okay. Similar, similar to the previous. Only difference, functions involved are secant tan tan. For tan, what is the derivative? Secant square. But you have surplus secant here. Secant power 4 is surplus. Can it be converted into a function of tan? Yes, you can do. Yes, it will be 1 plus tan square whole square. Okay, think of the other possibility. Secant 5x is here. What is derivative for secant 5x? Secant 5x into tan 5x into a constant. Do you have required tan 5x? Yes. 1 secant 5x, I will keep it together with tan 5x to find a replacement for dx. For the remaining secant, secant power 5, 5x, I take the help of a substitution. Secant 5x equal to t, t power 5 dt with some numerical factor outside. Similar one, one more example of same type. Consider this sin hyperbolic x to the power 4. What is the derivative? Cos hyperbolic x to the power 4 to be multiplied by derivative of x to the power 4, 4x cube. Do you find everything required with the dx? Yes. Substitution needed. Sin hyperbolic x to the power 4 equal to t. Integral becomes t to the power 5 dt with some numerical coefficient outside. Okay, we continue further tomorrow.